the city of Kansas City, Missouri. Welcome to Kansas City. Our population pulses between 500,000 and 2 million. As commuters flow through our arteries every day, the lifeblood of the city. Every day, lives are connected, barriers are broken down, stories intertwined. It all starts as the sun rises. Alejandro once struggled to get to work. He no longer has to run across a busy interstate to reach the nearest bus stop. Now, he has so many options. All are convenient and make him feel a deeper connection to the city he's lived in all his life. Brittany uses one of KC's unique smart Wi-Fi kiosks to find a job. A job she'll get to by taking one of the buses in the city's growing fleet of clean electric vehicles. A job that will give her and her kids a better quality of life, finally allowing her to support her family in a way she never thought possible. All across KC, connected cars and smart traffic lights make the streets safer. Midday brings with it an intermingling of people from all walks of life. Unique alternatives to the car make it easy and fun to explore the city, discover local restaurants, enjoy new experiences. An autonomous vehicle takes Quentin to the West Bottoms and Prospect areas where he meets potential investors in his revitalization plan. Investors who arrive from the airport thanks to a semi-autonomous shuttle. In what has historically been a disadvantaged part of town, Keisha and her brother Marcus study after school. Their neighborhood's mobile learning lab gives them safe access to the internet and other learning tools. As day melts into evening, people no longer rush home. Gabriella, who is visually impaired, enjoys a night on the town without the need for a costly living assistant, thanks to voice responsive wayfinding technology, making her feel self-sufficient for the first time in her life. And road diets bring a small town feel to the big city, encouraging people like Rich and Vicky to keep their cars parked, taking a leisurely bike ride, hopping a streetcar, browsing local shops, enjoying the show. All while shot spotter technology helps stop crime before it spreads, making the entire city feel as safe and inviting as the suburbs. Tomorrow is a new day. Thanks to smart city initiatives, Kansas City is turning barriers into byways to success, closing digital divides, breaking down physical divides, reducing socioeconomic divides. It makes sense that it should all happen here, a city that straddles state borders, a city at the crossroads of history and historic change, a city that truly is the heart of America. Mayor Sly James. Very much. Mr. Secretary, first of all, let me thank you for showing a big vision, a vision that recognizes that if we are going to move this country forward in terms of infrastructure, mobility, and transit, that has to start at the cities. You as a former mayor know that mayors matter. Thank you for that. Thank you or your team for this unique opportunity. But I'm also part of a team, and I want to recognize the team that got us here. Bob Bennett, Kate, Jason, please stand. Be recognized for the work that you've done. I also want to thank those who are watching at home who have involved themselves in this because we wouldn't be here if we hadn't done what we always do in Kansas City, and that's collaborate. We've learned a long time ago that by working together, we can go far. You know, when I was elected in 2011, the first thing that happened is, is that we, along with Kansas City, Kansas, became the first cities in the world to receive gig, uh, Google one gigabit fiber to the home. And when we got that, we found out some things about ourselves. But the one thing that we decided was that we could not stop there. We looked at it as a series of opportunities for us to build upon that in order to do things that would enhance the lives of our citizens. So I want to make sure that as I move into the discussion about our proposal, that we recognize that every single thing that we've talked about. Every approach that we are taking is for one single purpose, and that is to enhance the lives of the people who live in our city. This isn't about technology. It's not about streets. It's about people. And everything that we've done and everything that we've targeted will have an impact on the lives of people in our community. 
So when we got Google and we realized that we could go farther, the first thing that we did was we got our streetcar planned and we started moving on that. But we weren't satisfied just to have the streetcar. We wanted to make the streetcar a smart and connected city uh, uh, partner. So we embedded the spine of smart and connected cities along the streetcar route for the sole purpose of making sure that our passengers and people riding the streetcar would be connected by an umbrella of Wi-Fi, regardless of where they were. That they would be able to get off the streetcar and address one of the kiosks that are there that look like big iPads and find out all sorts of information. Is there a job opening someplace I can apply for? Is there a place where I can go get something to eat? What's going on in the schedule of this city? Is there a place where I can take my children? So we did all of that, and those kiosks are there for those folks to use. But we're also collecting data and information. We have sensors in the lights that control the lighting so that we're being efficient with money of our taxpayers. That also tells us when something is going on in the ground so our police can respond. The cameras in the kiosks will allow for interactivity in that regard. But it's not enough to simply have it in one part of town. So recognizing what your goals were and your proposal, sir, we wanted to make sure that we addressed every single one. We've reduced your multiple goals in the three distinct pillars. But those three distinct pillars are interconnected, just like everything has to be. So first pillar, ladders of opportunity. Opportunities to those who are previously shut out. Now, we recognize that in the prospect corridor of Kansas City on the east side, opportunity was sparse. It's the epicenter of sparse. I grew up in that epicenter of sparse, where people are low income, undereducated, die quicker than they should for one reason or another, whether it's violence or poor health care, but they are shut out of opportunities. So we're focusing a lot of our efforts in that prospect corridor. And we'll do that by using our second pillar, autonomous electric connected vehicles. And we have the Prospect Max bus line, which will run 7.2 miles to the north and south, and then connect east and west going over into the downtown area so that everybody is now connected. That bus line will be run by electric buses. At every bus stop, there will be electric in-ground charging stations so that as the buses sit there and exchange passengers, it will charge so that it will run faster and farther. There will be Wi-Fi on that. There will be kiosks. But the kiosks won't just be about exchanging basic information. Those kiosks will tell people on that bus and people in that area the story of the Prospect Corridor and the history of that corridor so that we can become connected in terms of our knowledge of each other. We'll also have and employ autonomous vehicles uh, along that line and also, but going east and west into the West Bottoms and other routes. Autonomous buses will take people from uh, the west side to the east side into the West Bottoms and also out to the airport. All of these things will be interconnected. There'll also be mobility hubs so that there will be opportunities for people who want to uh, take advantage of bike share, uh, ride share, all sorts of other options, trails, walking paths, etc., will be located in the same route. We'll starve nine miles of roads for bike lanes and protect those bike lanes. We will do all of these things because it is in the best interest of our people. Now, there's a lot of great cities here. I am honored to be among these cities. I'm honored to have Kansas City be among these cities. They are all led by dynamic and good mayors. I'm honored to be their friend and to share information with them. We'll continue to share information with them, win, lose, or draw, because that's what this is all about, making the lives of citizens better. So one thing I will tell you, Mr. Secretary, working with us is no gamble. We've been there, done that. Our process from ideation to implementation is on display. We've done it with the smart city, smart and connected city. We're the largest smart and connected city in the entire North American continent. We're one of five uh, cities selected by IEEE in the entire world. So we know what we're doing. It's not a gamble. Selecting us would be a big win for our team, be a big win for your team, but it'd be a catalytic win for the people of Kansas City and for others who want to come. We will work with whoever wants to come and work with us to share information, to build the city of tomorrow as a smart city. But a smart city has to first and foremost 
make sure that it is smart as it relates to those residents. And that's what we're all about. That's what we're all about in Kansas City. That's why you should work with us. Now, they say Kansas City is the heart of America. The people of Kansas City are the blood of that heart. And that's why I'm standing here with you today. And that's why Kansas City should be your selection.